Oh, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And if you haven't caught up with the Fannie Willis trial that's going on right now, if you don't know who Fannie Willis is, she is the one who is coordinating the uh, RICO trial against Trump and many of his associates, right? Of course, she is working in conjunction with the Biden White House, the DOJ, and of course, the January 6th committee, people like Liz Cheney and others, uh, to ensure that they can take down Trump. Well, of course, during this uh, during this proceeding, uh, evidence uh, had arose um, from one of Trump's defendants said, hey, uh, Fannie Willis is corrupt, along with her boy toy, Nathan Wade. And the judge is like, or, and the people were like, what are you talking about? They're like, oh, yeah, we have lots of dirt we're just about to unload because she is unfit to continue to serve as DA. And this trial is a sham because it's been politically charged and politically pushed by the Democrat Party. So before we dive into today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Hopefully you can share it with your friends and family. Smash that like button to 1500 likes. And if you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, you can smash that join button, that super thanks button. All of it's very appreciated. So thank you so much for your continued on and ongoing support of the channel. So let's kind of dive into this because they were just busted for lying, right? They were caught in a perjury trap that was laid out masterfully by Trump's attorneys and the attorney for Michael Roman as they were uh, leading this into him because they were going to lie. And that's what they did because they had all the evidence. They had the cell phone records. They had the bank statements. They had all this stuff and they lied and they lied about it, obviously opening up a new angle to this entire farce. Uh, of a trial against Trump. So let's kind of take a look at this coming to us from the Gateway Pundit. Uh, lover boy Nathan Wade got geo tracked. Fannie Willis and lover Nathan Wade, Wade in danger of disqualification in Trump case after fresh discovery of cell phone data suggests they lied under oath. That's right. So uh, if you all know what geo data tracking is, it's what your phone does and it can track where you are. And of course, it's it, it, it's the same type of data they used for people that were uh, at the Capitol on January 6th. And that's how they were able to uh, identify many of the individuals they've been going after. And so now that same technology being used against the Democrats here, according to a breaking report by the uh, far left Atlanta journal uh, constitution authorities, geo tracked Nathan Wade and found that Nathan Wade made at least 35 visits to Fannie neighborhood before he was hired as the lead prosecutor in the Lawfare RICO case against Trump and 18 Trump associates. The information was included in the court submission filed on Friday. Uh, Fannie Willis and her lead prosecutor and lover Nathan Wade both testified in court that they started a relationship after he was appointed to lead the Trump election interference case. However, however, Nathan Wade appeared to make at least 35 trips to Hi, uh, Hateville neighborhood where Fannie Willis was living before the district attorney hired him to lead the Fulton County election interference prosecution. According to the cell phone data included in the court submission filed Friday, the filing by the attorney for Trump raises fresh questions about the relationship between the two prosecutors with the former president and other defendants arguing has argued has tainted the case against them and should result in Willis and her office being disqualified. Trump's lawyers relied on the data collection from Wade's cell phone and cell phone towers transmissions to track his movements. It seemed to contradict Wade's testimony last week in which he had said he had visited Willis at her condo in Hatfield no more than 10 times before he was hired in November of 2021. It also indicates Wade twice arrived late at night at the condo and left early the next morning in the months before Willis and Wade said their relationship became romantic in early 2022. Both Wade and Willis testified last week that they did not spend the night together at the Hatville condo. A spokesman for the Fulton DA's office did not immediately respond to a request for comment. This is bad. This is really bad. Fanny is finished. M Megan Kelly weighed in saying, stunning that the Trump team got their hands on this in the Fanny Willis case. More evidence that these two prosecutors lied under oath. They're looking at perjury charges and worse, discipline from the bar. And there's zero chance they can stay on this case. It's done. Big, big bombshell happening today 
in Fulton County. And I kept telling you guys, as this case has been building, I told you guys that there, there was so much evidence in this case against Fannie Willis, against Nathan Wade, uh, all of the connections, all the uh, data that the Trump team had on this, and then just delivering this blow after blow in court of all places that they are not going to be able to recover from. So we will watch to see how this ends up. Uh, this is disqualifying. This should uh, end in perjury, and this should end in a bar disqualification, her being kicked off as being a lawyer along with Nathan Wade. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media, including uh, all the social links in the uh, description down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.